everybody. Sean Prince. <clears throat> What's up? What are all these heel protesting there in Portland? I said the guy he pulled some up. He I see a bunch of people protesting. What are these people protesting over there? The guy pulled a gun on him? Uh, protect somebody? What is going on with these people? I mean, <clears throat> are these people paid protester people or? This can't all, all these protests and shit can't be all for Donald Trump all that. I'm not buying that shit. I thought that they, well, don't think, but I had believed that the people want to start trouble so that they could, you know, have an excuse to put people in the FEMA camps, you know. But I wanted to say something. Well, I believe that we're all in pods. Well, not all of us, but a lot of us. We're in pods being used as batteries. And in the movie, Day After Tomorrow, when all the people died, remember? They went on a trek or whatever and the storm came and they tried to travel and they all died. And then after that, the wall of frost came. So what, what does that signify? You know, well, if If, if we're all batteries and a lot of us die all at once, it could cause a problem with their power. We know that the sun is fake and we know that the way we feel heat is from the ionic heating, ionic installations that you know, electrify the ions in the air or whatever. I'm not a scientist, but something to that effect. So we know that, you know, we know that. So we know in the Bible it says son of man, son of man. Well, if we're all batteries and the sun is powered by an installation that obviously must need electricity to operate, some electricity. And we're the source of electricity. And if we die, a lot of us die all at once. Guess what happens? Well, the ionic heating installations stop working. They stop uh, electrifying the ions in the air, which means we're not going to feel any heat from the sun anymore. Which would be in accordance with the movie. A lot of people died all at once, and then the wall of frost came. You know? So, uh, I suggest 
that anybody who wants this video should try to accumulate warm clothing and obviously you, you can't rely on gas because if there's earthquakes the gas lines will rupture so you won't have any gas if electricity goes off you won't have electricity so if you, if you rely on that for heat you, I wouldn't rely on that you know you have to have wood you have to have a fireplace or a wood stove or something that you're going to be able to get heat from, you know, that's not gas powered or electric power, you know, and accumulate a lot of warm clothing, you know, and the temperature could drop, you know, if, if something happened and a lot of us died all at once and we are in the pods, like I believe, then the sun will go off, you know, We won't feel any heat from the sun anymore. So then we go, then it's going to be instant ice age. We know Hollywood knows all the secrets. They tell us the truth. They just don't tell us it's true. So I don't believe that's such a far-fetched conclusion to come to, what I just said. You know, what, what would be the other repercussions if a lot of us died all at once? Well, like I said, there's not really, a, there's not really death. Death really doesn't exist, but... And I told you the ambulance people must know how to bring people back to life because as soon as you go in the fake hell place, you die. If you're not already dead, you die. And then what happens? How do you become a gang stalker person if you're not dead and you go into the fake hell place and you die as soon as you go into the cave? As soon as you go through the, the doorway, like a, remember I told you I used to watch the ambulance and the police disappear into the hill? Okay, well, as soon as you go into the hill, you die. And then the ambulance people bring you back to life. But we know that they recycle bodies. So they might want to keep you dead on purpose. You know. Or not bring you back to life or something of this nature so they could recycle your body. You know, harvest your organs or whatever they want to do. You know, turn you into candles or food additives or preservatives or make McDonald's dead baby burgers out of you or whatever. I don't know. Whatever they do, you know. But I believe that uh, all of us should uh, take that into consideration. You know. If we are in pods and we are being used as batteries, and for some reason all of us, a lot of us died all at once, then that means the sun's gonna go off. The no more sun, no more heat from the sun. What would be the other repercussions to a lot of us dying if something happened and a lot of us died all at once? <laughs> Probably a whole bunch of repercussions. Whatever they use our, our power for, you know. They use our power to power the grid and they supplement it with dams and whatever else, some wind power farms or some solar farms or Whatever, I don't know. You know. Uh, so, it is possible that they could be using our power for the nuclear power plants. 
to power the nuclear power plants, you know. So for some reason, a lot of us died all at once. What's going to happen? Well, the nuclear power plant is going to melt down, you know, and then clouds of radiation are going to envelop the whole earth. Now, we know there's a glass ceiling. We know it's fall, fallen before because that's where the deserts came from. So, if the glass ceiling fell, we know that oxygen would escape, so we would suffocate. The story about on the other side of the glass is water. I don't know if I'm buying that story, you know. I'll tell you why I'm not buying that story. For the reason is that the spaceships, they create storms with harp and all that shit. They create thunderstorms and lightning on purpose. Remember I told you, remember in the movie Frankenstein with the balls of glass with the lightning in there? Okay, we're inside the lightning ball, Frankenstein ball. Understand? And through their installations, they create storms and uh, um, lightning. And that's how the spaceships get their power. The spaceships fly down to the, the, the glass ceiling and they get that power that radiates off the glass. You know, that's how they... You know, I'm sure they have other avenues of propulsion or whatever, but that's how some of them get their power, the power of their spaceships. You know. So, if we all, a lot of us died at once and they didn't have power for harp and they didn't have power for S. SCX, C-base radar and all this other shit they got, uh, then they wouldn't be able to create storms anymore either. They wouldn't be able to create like uh, lightning or thunder or anything like that. And then um, the spaceships wouldn't be able to get power from the glass. Or if the glass fell, they wouldn't be able to get power either, you know. Now, I had another idea, is that we know that, what do they say? It will be as in the days of Noah. So we know that everything as in the days of Noah is the same as now. So that most likely means that we are in pods at the end of the last age too. By the time the end of the last age came, we are all imprisoned in pods the same, you know, the same as it is now. So that means the allies that are going to come into the program, my allies, our real creator allies, not the, you know, fake people. But the real, our real creator allies that are outside the program, that can't come in the program or they'll create a double until the, the world stops spinning, you know, and the darkness comes and we go in the dark rift, whatever. We know that they know we're in pods because it's everything the same as days of Noah. So if that means that we were in pods end of last age, that means they know now that we're in pods. Okay, so they that means they know that they have to come down and get us out of the pods. Okay. So I had another idea was that, well, if the allies come and get us out of the pods, we can go around and round up all the hybrids and then put them in the fucking uh in the pots, you know. I mean, we'll have to figure out how to hook them up with the wires and all that, but we'll figure it out, you know. Once they take us out, well, the allies will know how to hook them up, you know. Just stick a wire in their head, in their back, along their back, whatever. I don't know. We'll have to figure out how to do it. You know, just round up all the hybrids and put them in there. You know, that's one of the ideas I had so we don't all freeze to death. You know what I'm saying? But they can't be the creator out. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way in the world. Plus, the, the reptilians and the greys all know I'm willing, they know I'm willing to work with them. I'm ready to work with them. So I'm good with all reptilians and I'm good with all greys. 
I'm willing to work with any person that believes that they're my enemy. I'm willing to work with you. But you know, if you're if you're still going, you still got plans to still continue on with you know using us as human resource. Then no, obviously I'm going to work. I'm not going to work with you because that means that you're trying still trying to fight against me. You know, so that that's just uh, illogical. The hybrids, you know, have the capability to take us out of the pods or take some of us out of the pods at least, you know. Oh, shit, you know. I must be in a pod because uh, there's that's the only way they could watch my, they could know I'm watching their video in real time. There's no other way they could know. How else could they know? You know, how else could they know? Unless they, well... I'm sure they tapped into our DNA, they hijacked our DNA signal coming from Saturn, and I'm sure they hacked into all Saturn signals, you know, they hijacked everything. So they might be able to watch that way, you know. Uh, but I suggest everybody try to get some uh, warm clothes, you know. In case the sun goes off. It's going to be just like in the movie. There's going to be a wall of frost that's going to come and just freeze everything. You know. And then we'll be frozen like icicles if we're not prepared. You know? All right, I'll let you go. You know. See you guys later. Solid, everybody.